Hey, hello there and welcome. It's Tuesday, it's eight o'clock. It's that time of the week. It's the Planet Cruise TV show. Uh, my name's Sean. I love presenting the show. We've been running now 11 years, uh, over 11 years. Every Tuesday we bring you incredible cruises, exclusive offers. Tonight, we're just looking four cruises for under £1,000 and a lot of all-inclusives. <laughs> Lots of all-inclusives. I'm happy. And I'm actually... Extra happy because Justin is back. It's been honestly, it's been weak. You say that to every guest presenter, <laughs> don't you? You do, don't no, you? No, I don't. Honestly, it's been look, look, it's, 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 it's been good a while, to be back it? as well. I know. It's just you know, I had to come back. I had to come you back. Did. And you're going to be with us. Uh, you are going with us. Uh, you know, for the next few months, we are going to see more of you, aren't we? Well, well you're going to see me more regularly. Yes, yes. that's what I mean. Yeah. Not see more of me. You no. don't want to see more of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I tell you what, just as but we've got the best lineup tonight. Um, amazing offer. So lots of all inclusive, lots under a thousand pounds. Yeah, hot picks, luxury corner coming up. Uh, in fact, a lot of the ships are under a hundred thousand tons as well. So it's they're a actually nice smaller size. ships. Yeah. So if you don't like the big sort of massive ships, um, this is going to be definitely right up your street. Um, I'm just, I've got so many I'd like to book tonight, seriously. Anyway. <laughs> you haven't um, had enough holiday. <laughs> uh, I haven't, actually. But um, you might be brand new to the show. So I just want to talk about Planet Cruise yeah. for, for a little bit. Because Planet Cruise, I mean, we, we've been, say, presenting the show 11 years now. Planet Cruise do get us amazing offers, don't they? Yeah, and, you know, you, you look at the name, you look at the brand, you think, OK, where are they based? What do they do? Well, we're in cruising. We're one of the biggest ones. But it's the people behind it that actually make this such a success story and such a, a great place to book because the people that work at Planet Cruise have actually been on a cruise. Yeah. And this is nothing against uh, you know, your high street uh, holiday uh, market, shall we say, but the fact of the matter is these guys are specialists. They've lived cruising, um, they've breathed cruising. I mean, I spent six years, as you can tell, um, on board cruise ships. So you do know the ports, you know the little tips and tricks. Uh, and some of, the, some of the guys as well that look after the, the land-based holidays as well that we do, we've got the um, uh, Rocky Mountaineer coming up for yeah. you. One of the guys lived in Canada. So, you know, the, the fact of the matter is that, you know, you're not just speaking to, you know, a high street agent, you are speaking to specialists. And, and, and very important thing as well, if you ever want to add hotel stays, regional flights, you know, Planet mm. Cruise can put a complete bespoke package together for you yeah. and we get the best deals on a Tuesday night we get some amazing exclusive offers because we are in millions of homes yeah so and the, got... the, the fact of the matter is the cruise industry recognizes those that do well with their cabins so we do sometimes get well, better cabins we get better prices we got exclusive yeah. prices tonight as well that you're and, not going to find anywhere Cruise are the biggest agent for many of the cruise companies we've got on yeah. the show, One they? of the biggest TV shows as well. Yeah. So I don't know whether that's my following or whether it's your following <laughs> or it's combined. Yeah. But I, uh, I just think we, we are very lucky to, to present this every Tuesday. Um, we, we know we've got an amazing lineup tonight, but if there isn't anything that takes your fancy, go to the website. Planet Cruise can find you any cruise with any cruise line for any length of time in any destination. So, you know, they, we will find you your perfect cruise. And I really mean this. I've been on, I think, about I think 30 cruises now. I've been very lucky. I truly believe there is a cruise for everybody. So some of you will like big ships, small ships. Some of you will like um, more formal cruises. Some of you like more casual. Some of you, like me, would love all-inclusive. We've definitely got that. So, yeah, there is a cruise for absolutely absolutely everybody and all budgets all ages you know you might be young like me 30 or you know like Justin heading towards 40 but whatever we will find a cruise for you but we're going to start <laughs> he's shaking his head there we're going to start with this week's hot pick <laughs> oh, I like that the <laughs> but this <laughs> it's I mean, hot this really is a hot pick. We were looking earlier. Yeah. I mean, the value, it's with Morella, who I've now cruised through twice recently. Absolutely love them in terms of value. Yep. The price on the screen, 859. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is, and, and that, that's, that's adult only. So adult only as well, yeah. cruise without the kids, if you want all inclusive with your tips included as well, that's this package. But the greatest thing is, is you're going to the Caribbean. I mean, it, yeah. do you know, I, I've been a bit naughty. I hope Kat doesn't mind, but I actually, I got this through early and I actually, I actually sent it to some of my friends who are looking at booking this. So I was that, I've done that, should I? But it's so good. It works out under £79 per person per night. Where would you be able to stay in the UK for that? 
I mean, I mean, seriously, I just think of hotel rates, even Airbnb rates. I know. But does that include your food? Does that include your drinks? Does that include your tips? Does that include your transport? No, all of this, uh, and, from boarding the cruise to flying back, all of it. Yeah, I'm going to say, we covered. don't leave you in Barbados. Miranda yeah, will fly back. We do back. get you back. <laughs> so, you know, we, we both, look, it has I to want be my this staying week's in hotbed. Barbados, though. Say again. I want my staying in Barbados, you know? Mm. Well, I'm sure we could arrange that. But anyway, let's take you on board. Well, this is with Morella on board the celebration. So I've recently cruised twice with Morella. Um, for me, I I love well everything, food, service. Oh, we've heard. Entertainment is great. <laughs> they they just offer great value though. Um, yeah, they, they, these are not the later ships. Um, they, this is more of a classic ship which should be beautifully maintained. Uh, a smaller ship, but amazing service. Food, great atmosphere, Justin. You yeah, know, yeah, real definitely. nice atmosphere. Very British on board as well. But the entertainment for me absolutely made my cruise fantastic. Always something happening with Morella. Yeah, and th this is this is the thing. You know, you've got a ship that's thirty-four thousand tons. Thirty-four thousand. So, tons. How, do you know how many passengers? Justin? That's around seventeen hundred at full capacity. So, bear in mind if it's not sailing at full capacity. Um, you said a classic ship. They're all refurbished to such high yeah. standards, modern standards. Uh, but you know whether it's just just casual and relax if you want to go to the bars, um, if you want to go to some of the restaurants as well. You've got the Meridian, you've got the Lido bar, uh, restaurant, uh, the Terrace Grill as well, Coralar, room services also available 24 hours a day with charges to apply. And you've got all of the facilities you'd expect. Yeah. So you've got the Ocean Health Club um, and just, well, just great relaxing entertainment. Um, and it is, this one is a repositioning cruise. Um, they, they're very rare, you know, they don't come up every week. And it will go really quickly. Morella actually had one of the top sellers last week. They always are. I was like. just going to say the deal that we had from Morella last week is similar, um, and it was our best seller. So you know, definitely get in before the cabins go on um, this one. I, I won't be on board, and the only reason is because I, I, I'm not allowed holiday in November. But I did look into it. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody, I would I do this one like in a heartbeat. Uh, so Justin, let's talk through that. We fly first of all to Malaga, don't we, from the yep, UK? Yeah, and then you've got a day at sea before getting into Madeira. It's one of my favourite yeah, islands yeah, in you, the Canaries. You love Madeira, don't you? It's just great. In fact, it was one of the last ports that I actually came back into before disembarking in Southampton and starting a new life in the UK. But uh, Madeira's got well, all the all the things. You You'd expect a Madeira, Madeira wine, Madeira cake. Uh, you get fantastic flower markets and botanical gardens as well because of the climate. And just look at it, it's just absolutely Beautiful. stunning. You've got the Bougainvillea just there. And see, you're impressed there. I'm so you're good. watching your garden shows and getting some tips from Angela, <laughs> you see. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just a fantastic thing. Definitely, I'd say go to the flower market. Blandy's is also a good one. Other brands are available, but it is very unique to Madeira. Um, there's some lovely hotels, some good facilities. So if you want to spend the day out, uh, then you can and, do. And even in November, really pleasant temperatures, Jimmy. Oh yeah, aren't of they? course. You know, you're getting across to the Canaries. Then you're not calling into the Azores, but as you start going across the Atlantic, it's getting closer uh, and closer to the Caribbean. Now we should say you now, with it being a reposition cruise, you've got six days at sea. Yes. Now. I uh, love to see days. Same here. Uh, you, you're under no pressure. You can. You, I mean, you yep. should be sunbathing. There was no import manning. No. <laughs> um, that, that's that's by, by the way. That's for the crew, not for the for, for those of you cruising. We had to stay on board. Uh, half of the crew had to stay on board for safety reasons. So import manning. You're like, Oof, I'd rather. So well, at sea days, you don't have to worry. Enjoying the whole of the ship. Uh, say sunbathing, relaxing. Um, you do have your all-inclusive drinks package. Of oh, course, so. you know what? I'm thinking. I'm thinking promenade deck. On one of those ocean steamers. Is it ste ocean steamers? Steam steamer? Yeah, the old-fashioned uh, wooden. Why do they call yeah. them steamers? I, I wonder know. why. Um, but just imagine just sitting out yeah. there, even if it's a little chilly, because sometimes you know sometimes the breeze can be a little bit chilly with the sea salt. Just just get your little little jacket on, sit out there, look out to the horizon, um, and just think we're going to Antigua. I mean, imagine Whoa, we're in November. Going to um, the entertainment, I guarantee, I love Morella for their entertainment. The shows will be brilliant every night. There'll be lots happening during the day as well. When I was on board, I stayed in an outside cabin. There's one of the uh, deluxe cabins there. Yeah. Um, but. I just think for this price, you're going to have an amazing time. Yeah. But 11 nights. Just but as you mentioned, you said about outside cabin, there is actually a free upgrade from inside to outside. Oh, there is? Yeah, yeah. From the, um, as we believe, the, out, no, the balcony to a suite. So we'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. So, um, so uh, no, the deluxe is just over £1,000, wasn't it, on this one? Yeah. My apologies, I'm but thinking of another deal. My bad one. But you, you are getting, look, you are going to get 
you're right on the first one. You are going to get the outside for the price of the inside. But Antigua is Antigua. our next stop, isn't it? Well, how many beaches is Antigua? Once every day of the year? Exactly, 365. There you go. Uh, fantastic historic stuff. If you want to go and see Nelson's Dockyard, you can actually go back to the Georgian era uh, and see you know, how life was lived back then. But as soon as you get off the ship, there's casinos, there's still drums, there's great duty-free as well, and there's some of the best beaches in the world. I mean, just look at that. Yeah. It's just cute, cute uh, Fleetwood Mac and Albatross and a coconut in one hand, <laughs> and I'm done. Oh, and a straw hat, of course. Just thinking, that's not too shoddy for November being there, is it? Not bad That'd be at amazing. all. Uh, but, but we also stay at St. Lucia now. St. Lucia, yeah, straight away. I mean, St. Lucia is dominated by uh, the landscape, and it's the pitons. Now, this is, this is probably where you'll sail into close to there, um, where you're docking either Castries. Uh, you're not too far away from Salfrey as well, which uh, comes highly recommended from uh, a very good friend of mine. Um, north of the island, you've got Pigeon Point. West of the island, you've got Marigot Bay as well. I think it's west or is it south? Uh, but Marigot Bay, I mean, absolutely stunning there. There's some really good resorts. There's a great cocktail, or there was a great cocktail bar, though I'm not too sure whether it's still there, called the Giant Pink Sea Snail. You try saying that quickly after you've had a couple of drinks. <laughs> Giant Pink Sea Snail, does that remind I, you of anything? I don't Rex say, Harrison? I don't even say it now. Just no? Do I was going to say Doctor Who then. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Doctor Doolittle. Do little. Yeah, yeah, Doctor Doolittle. There you go. Try and pink seas now. <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> but no, St. Lucia, absolutely fantastic uh, place. Then um, you're going to be finished up in Barbados. Yep. Yeah, and your bar. flight back to UK. Yeah. How amazing is that for £859? That's what I've been telling all my friends about it. So let's just recap what's included. Uh, this is this week's hot pick, adult only. Um, so. You can relax, enjoy this. It will be all adults. Uh, all your tips included. You are going to get a free inside to outside cabin upgrade. So you've got that lovely view. Um, I love freebies. Return flights based on London Gatwick. We could find you regional flights. Uh, again, we're really good with regional flights. Add a supplement, just call for details. This, I, I guarantee. The phone lines will be getting really busy for this already. It works out just say seventy-nine pounds per yep. person per night. Yeah, um, amazing. So a free upgrade tonight. If you want to go for the deluxe, that's just over a thousand pounds as well. And we've got a deluxe balcony available. So what a start! I would, I would book that in a heartbeat. I really would. Uh, sadly, I can't get holiday in November. I'll keep trying. But you regulars, what are my favourite two words? All inclusive. Here's this week's. Well, you like an all inclusive as well, don't you, Justin? Come on, come on. I might do. You might do. <laughs> well, it just, it, it just kind of it means you know what you're spending. You don't end up with a big yeah. bill at the end. Uh, you know, it's, it's just nice, isn't it? But um, this. Now, this, this takes us to an area of the world that I've not been to yet. It's no? Dubai, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've done a couple, couple done of these sports, but yeah, but some yeah. of these are really interesting. And you just think, wow, it would be great to go there and just experience a completely different culture. You know, so we, we get so desensitised now where we go around Europe and parts of the States, and it's just all the same. Yeah, uh, yeah, but, you yeah. know, going over to this, this part of the world, uh, and this neck of the woods, as we say, this is truly unique. Uh, and we should say as well, when it comes to January, there's not many places that you can go to and get great weather without travelling a huge distance. Yeah. Actually, this is just a nice kind of flight. I was going to say travelling a distance, because, yes, yeah, about six hours. Yeah. Some, yeah. So, somewhere around that, depending on, on, uh, on, on your carrier. But this particular one, I'm liking. I'm oh, really, wow. really liking. Uh, Every our producer's um, flown to our few times. So it's so about between seven and eight hours. Oh, okay. you know, but yeah. still, you know. It's, it's not like travelling like I did to Australia, you know, that, that was a, a fair flight. Um, and then, <laughs> a long flight, but worth it. But this is with Pumunta. They're, again, smaller, friendly ships, aren't they? Yeah, if you want to go for small, 46,000 tonnes. You know, she's small, but it's where you are going. As we said, Dubai, you've got an overnight as well on board in Dubai to see the wonderful mosques out there, to see some of the breathtaking landscapes, the world record um, buildings as well. Um, it just is, it's just fantastic. The temperature over there, also service as well. Yeah. It's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And um, well, let's just say, as, as you go through these ports, uh, there's some great markets as well and sooks that you can go to. 
so you can have a little bit of a barter and uh, come back with some nice little goodies. I mean, for everything I've heard about Dubai, I mean, I've, been, I've only ever been to the airport. And that was impressive. <laughs> and they, I was just going to say, that's impressive in <laughs> yeah, itself. Yeah, it was. I was like, wow. Yeah, but you know, you go to see the Burj Khalifa, if you're at the base there, there's a great shopping mall there. Um, they've got a, like a, a water fountain show, and it changes every, every 15 minutes. So it's a different piece of music, it's different lights, and this is all looking up at the tallest, or one of the tallest buildings in the wow. world. Wow. So, uh, yeah, pretty impressive. Oh, I've just been told it's every half an hour. <laughs> My apologies, not every 15 minutes. It's just time, time flies when you're having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, the, the, the restaurants, the, you know, say the choice of things to do. I mean, they're, they're, there's, you know, you can yeah. never be bored. Could Actually, you? going to the shopping mall, there's a, a massive aquarium that I think is about three stories tall. It's one of the world's largest. There's a full-blown ice rink in there as wow. well. I mean... It, wow. you, you need to see it to believe it. So um, that's your start of this cruise, <laughs> Dubai. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We haven't even really scratched scratched the surface because <laughs> yeah. you, know, you can still go to Palm Island. You still go to see uh, Atlantis. You go to the Mall of the Emirates, the Dubai Mall, the Gold Sook, everything. Wow. And you've got that overnight and the day in yeah. Dubai. So you really can see a lot. But you go from the big and the just incredible to a really small fishing village and I love this yeah. it's like the, the the sort of tonic that you've got yeah. because starting in Dubai you've got that wonderful overnight and then a day to follow with the Burj Khalifa as we we're talking about with Palm Island as well um, oh. it's just it's brilliant but then going on to the next port of, of um, Kassab, Kassab and this this we're going headed into Oman um, my, my notes that I've actually got here it's Bedouins fishermen and a village oasis. I think that sums it up. Uh, there's actually yeah, a, say, what a contrast to Dubai. Yeah, and there's some lovely things that you can do here as well. There's actually a traditional boat that's um, sort of only found in this particular region that you can actually go on with the fishermen. And I just think that just sounds wow. amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. Uh, then we're off to Muscat. Now this is the Amani capital. Um, you've got the, the famous royal palace here. Um, you've got the Grand Mosque as well, the Cornish in Matra. There's some fantastic sooks as well. So if you want to go here for spices, textiles, handicrafts, uh, carpets as well. In fact, um, this particular region, this is actually known to be some of the greatest and the, and the best quality carpets in the world. So if you can get them back home, um, then uh, it's worth, worth a little bit of investment there. Then we're off to Kut al Fakan, and uh, there's a beautiful fort here, the Sharjah Fort. Um, and it's actually been restored by the current sheikh. Uh, there's also a local museum. You've got the Blue Sook as well, um, which if, you, if you're not shopped out already, there's a further 600 shops split into two wings. Oh. So you can go there. And this is actually, uh, where I was saying about the best carpets, this is renowned in the area. It's actually better than Dubai, which you think, you know, you'd think a big sort of metropolis like Dubai would probably be better. Actually, no, Kul Al Fakhan um, is, uh, is the best place for carpets. Um, we mix it up with the day at sea because, to be fair, I think we'll probably need a little yeah. bit of uh, uh, a chill, chill and relax. And then you're going to be disembarking in Abu Dhabi and flying back to the UK. Um, and all of that under £1,000. Apparently you can get ice cream with gold in, in Abu Dhabi. Is I expect you probably get it in Dubai as well. It's probably 24 <laughs> carats. <laughs> um, you can get it from vending machines. <laughs> I mean, you will have a magical time. Um, Imagine doing that in January. So it's all inclusive with tips. You've got that overnight on board in Dubai, as we mentioned. Oh, got a great single special as well for just under £2,000 there. If you wanted to maybe further extend your stay in Dubai, you can add on uh, three nights from just £159 per person. Return flights based on London. So but how much? Dubai, £159 yeah, per nights. person? Yeah, three nights. Three nights. I don't have to say anything else. I know. £53 a night, that is, isn't it? Um, and we also had some regional flights there as well from uh, Manchester, Edinburgh, Glasgow and Dublin just for a supplement. So, um, so price-wise, the inside is 999 a little bit more for the outside, but only a few pounds more there, £30 or so. We've got suites available and uh, the single price, um, oh sorry, I think you said the single price was, um, was more than that, but... Um, no, it's one one nine nine. So we just double check that single price. Oh, great! Right, it's in your right. 
It's in your favour. That is the correct symbol price. I, I think we said it was 1999, but it's not. It's 1199. Far better. That, now, that is a good single special. So, yep, yeah, the single price there, under £1,200. We've got our executive producer who's got their, her eye on things. She said, no, that is the correct single price, under £1,200, which is brilliant. So, Because I know we always get a lot of our uh, single passengers watching. That is under £1,200. Uh, but we have got uh, a chance. It's another all-inclusive coming up. It's with Celestial, always a, a top seller on the show. Your chance to visit three continents from Athens. And here is uh, Dan to uh, explain a little bit more. Celestial Cruises are known for authentic Greek hospitality and incredible destination experiences. Whilst exclusively exploring the Aegean and Eastern Mediterranean seas, with their personalised service, delicious cuisine, incredible entertainment and unique excursions at the forefront of the award-winning Celestial experience. You're guaranteed an adventure to remember. They currently have two ships in their fleet, the Crystal and the Olympia, both of which are unique mid-sized ships in their own way. Both ships offer cruises for those who seek adventure, those who fancy culinary excitement or those who just fancy a bit of quality TLC. Celestial Cruises offer a selection of staterooms to suit solo travellers, couples and families of up to four. With up to 65% of the cabins on board a Celestial ship owning an ocean view, there is plenty of choice for you to cruise exactly how you want. Celestial Cruises have an incredible connection with its Greek roots in its restaurants, with delicious fresh cuisine served on board taking diners on a culinary cultural journey, tasting flavourful Greek favourites and tempting local dishes. With all-inclusive drinks as standard, there isn't much you can't get to drink on board, from beers, wines and some well-known spirits to cocktails, hot beverages and of course water. Entertainment comes in many forms and life on board is fun for all. Celestial Cruises entertainment includes live music, dance classes, karaoke and more. Celestial Cruises are known for their dedicated Greek and Mediterranean itineraries, visiting Greece, Turkey, Cyprus, Israel and Egypt. But it's not just their locations that make their cruises so incredible. The excursions and tours organised and offered by Celestial are what give each day that once in a lifetime feeling. <sighs> what a trip. Mm. And tours included. I know. And it's the, it's the tours that you want. You know sometimes when you go to a port and it's, it's sort of like, oh, there's not much to do there. Oh, we're going to take you out in a jeep or a buggy. Oh no, you're going to go and see the pyramids. I mean... Yeah. These are all the ones you'd want to do, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. And it is, it is actually quite a rare itinerary because bear in mind, these guys, they're, they're a Greek-owned and Greek specialist cruise company uh, in the Greek islands. But this, where they're going, this is really yeah. something else. Um, and for, the, for those of you, I know we, we've got a bucket list cruise coming up later on, but I know my dad would definitely, he yeah. would have loved to have gone to, to, uh, to Cairo and seen the Paris. Always, always wanted to. Yeah. Always wanted I, to. I haven't done it. I'd love to. Um, and again... Just looking, it is all inclusive. You've got your tips and you've got those amazing trips. Yep, so and that's smaller a ships as package. well. Again, 25,000 tons on this one. Only, I think it's 1,200, uh, yeah, 1,200 passengers full capacity, but average is usually about 900, so perfect. Well, um, let's, uh, let's look into this itinerary a little bit further then. So, uh, we're flying from the UK to Athens, aren't we? Yes, certainly, and you've got a day at sea before going into Port Said and Alexandria and Cairo. This is where you have one of the tours included, and let's just go straight for the, 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 the big guns. Huh? We've got the last remaining ancient wonder of the world, the Pyramids of Giza. There's a camel ride, you get to see the Sphinx. You have lunch as a buffet star at a five-star hotel. You get to see Liberty Square in Cairo. You get to see the National Archaeological Museum, including some of the artefacts from Tutankhamun's tomb. Wow. I mean, I mean yeah. that's the tour that's included. Yeah. It's just absolutely amazing. And seriously, that, that whole day is just going to be, well, I mean, value for that, money. That, that tour with some of the you know, cruise liners could cost you a fortune, actually. Well, yeah, and, and to be fair, I actually looked at some of the tours that you would take if you weren't taking this tour that's included. And it's, it's fantastic, you know, it's, it's similar where you get to see do this, but it goes, oh, but there's an entry fee of this, and if you want to go into the tune, there's an extra fee of that. That's all included, and all of the hassle about, you know, oh, we, are we getting a taxi, or, you know, do we know the tour operator? It's all organised by the ship, so they look after you, and you know from there to the, to the, uh, the pyramids and the sphinx and back, you can just relax 
and just be guided all the way. Um, then we're into, we're off to Israel now, and into Ashdod. Now this is about 50 miles west of Jerusalem, about 25 miles south of Tel Aviv, and this is one of the big, big, if you want to pay a pilgrimage, then this is, this is where you want to travel um, out a little bit. There's plenty to see and do around it, but even for those of you that perhaps are, are not that, that, that religious, I'd, I'd want to go because it's historical. Yeah, I would, I would. And you've got the Western Wall, the Wailing Wall, you've got the Dome of the Rock and the Temple on the Mount. Uh, you've got the Via Dolorosa, which was the street thought by many Christians to be the site uh, where Jesus was walked through and the stations of the cross, the church, the Holy Sepulchre. I mean, there is so much here that you can do. I mean, there's the Grotto of Nativity as well. Um, it's, a, it's a, a full, long day, but it's definitely worth it. You've got to, if you're going to travel that far, you've got to go and yeah. do it. And if you don't do it, then you'll always kick yourself, yeah. I'm telling you. And you, you. may so, never have the chance to get. So, all, all of Cairo and the Pyramids of Giza, and then into Jerusalem, all those historic sites, that is just amazing. Anyway, now <laughs> we're off to Limassol, uh, where uh, the actual island of Nicosia, uh, the, the actual island's capital is Nicosia, uh, about an hour's drive, and it's just a brilliant, brilliant, oh, beautiful. You've got the medieval castle there, superb gardens, and excellent beaches. I mean, I think the pictures just say it all, really. Then we're off to Rhodes. I'm actually popping back to Rhodes for the second time. I was there last year. I actually was on board one of the Celestial ships. Oh, you were, weren't you? I yeah, 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 yeah. So, and, and absolutely fantastic food while we we're on board. Um, so, Rhodes, you've got the classical stadium and the ruins of the Temple of Apollo. You've got the old city, which is definitely worth a walk around. And there's this great, actually, if you just look up from that fountain to the right hand side, there's a lovely little cafe rooftop bar that you can overlook and you can people watch. So, uh, yeah, that. there. And to the left-hand side, if you go up that little street where those uh, little, um, uh, I was going to say tents, I can't get my words out tonight. Umbrellas, the canopies. Go up the left there, and there's like these little streets just wander because there's some fantastic little uh, shops up there. It looks beautiful as it? well. Yeah. There's a Cuban themed bar as well, and they're very friendly. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, now we're off to another historic site. We're off to Kusadasi, and we're off to Ephesus. I'm going to just reel off the names. Uh, the House of the Virgin Mary, um, you've got the Library of Celsus as well, the Cave of the Seven Sleepers. There's this, there's this old, old, um, old tale that, these, uh, that seven people went into the cave and 300 years later they came back out and they travelled through time. It was just this, oh, the, yeah, wow. yeah, wonderful. I, I'm, I'm like, I want to go there, I just want to see it. Tell so, you what, they, the experience on this one cruise, yeah. the, the history that you're going to see, it's amazing, isn't it? One, one thing that's culture, definitely, you know, definitely worth mentioning, because Celestial know this port very well, they know how to do it. You've got to go early before it gets too hot and too busy. So uh, this, again, you get to take full advantage of the knowledge of a cruise line uh, that is local. And that's the good thing. And bear in mind, that tour is included as well. So uh, definitely worth going to see. And then it's back to Athens and flying back to the UK. But I'm telling you now, if you want a bucket list of some of the biggest and the best historical sites, then that's the cruise I mean, for you. I mean, you look at that. That's, you know, that's your eight-night cruise. Look at how much of the world you're going to see and experience there. That is amazing. Yeah. And the very memories you bring back. Very unusual to get this itinerary on the yeah. show. So it is all inclusive as well uh, with tips. You get the free excursions, as Justin just mentioned. They, they are brilliant excursions. Uh, Cara Roads and Kusadasi as well. Uh, if you wanted to spend a little bit of extra time in Athens, you can do that from £99 per person and return flights based on London there. Uh, Price-wise, uh, the lead date uh, is the day before my birthday, as it happens, 19th of December. Um, but we've got other dates in February, March, and then October, November, December 2020. I would say, if you actually look at the outside price, just, you know, the difference is really small on some of those dates, isn't it? Yeah. Re so, really worth the upgrade. You might even decide to go for a sweet. Um, I would love to look into the drinks package a bit further, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah and, and so. to, to, you know what, for, from, from ha for having experience being on board uh, and speaking to the guys, uh, you know, this, this is branded. This is branded uh, spirits yeah. as well, not like you're unheard of. And just because it says uh, about Uzo cocktails there, they have everything, all the cocktails that you'd expect. Um, and also, I mean, I know I sort of like, I, I joke about the drinks package a bit, but I also love things like coffees. And you've got all your hot beverages, cappuccinos and your espressos, everything included in this package. So I think that's amazing, that one. Good it's, show, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That was, it's almost like this, there's so many good cruises here. That, that's sort of 
Just a subtle one, bubbling under the surface. It's Just like, in, Planet Cruise have saved some extra special deals for your comeback tonight. That's what it is. The comeback tour. There. That, huh? yeah. <laughs> um, now, um, I, I was very lucky last year I got to cruise with Azamara. Um, it's a brand that a lot of customers had, had told me about. Um, they are very much... I, I would describe it as a boutique hotel cruise, so small yeah. ships, yeah. but really outstanding and beautiful ships. Again, more classic ships, but um, I would say luxury boutique, that's how I'd describe them. Now, this is a 20-night cruise, uh, departing the 17th of December of this year, so you'd be away Christmas and New Year, wouldn't you? Exactly. That'd, you know I, I'd love to do that. I know, I would. I would. I would. All of that hassle, somebody else doing all the lunches, all, all the dinners. It'd be great. None of the, none of the cleaning up. Um, and and then, Miami Beach as well. Well, looking at the itinerary, this is, I mean, you, you're flying over to Miami, you finish cruise in LA, but look at all the ports in between there. Yeah, definitely. Actually, yeah, Punta Arenas, Los Angeles as well. I know. So, um, it is say, it's I was going to say, this is one of the cruise lines that people in the industry aspire to go on. Yeah. Oh, they are amazing. Um, they are, say, I would say, five star plus and boutique luxury. Um, for three weeks away, I mean, bear in mind you will be away Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and the rest. We've got prices there starting at just over £3,300 there. So if you're interested, give us a call. That is Luxury Corner tonight. Again love to do that but they always say the early bird catches the worm and we've got an early bird saver coming up next <laughs> you missed Justin's little moves to that do it again do, can, do, can do, we do. Play? Should, should, should we play can we play the music is that too no, no? I it, don't know I, oh we've thrown a span <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have that every time. Don't you? Can, can, we yeah. one more can we just have it one more time? Yeah. We'll, we'll get the royalty. Hang on, no, 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 hang on, no. Let, no. let me do it properly. So, this is this week's Early Bird Saver. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> All good. All good. Good. <laughs> I should have been flapping like a bird in the background next time. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, but this, oh my this, this is, is, is this is this this bucket list? Oh, it is. This uh, and, is it. And, and, and when you you know you may have seen the Rocky Mountaineer on the show before. When you break this down in terms of the cruise, the whole train journey, the hotel stays, yeah. it is phenomenal. This isn't it. I, I just got to say, I actually mentioned uh, earlier on that one of one of our members of staff uh, lived in Canada. This you know this is his real speciality. Yeah. And when he took me through the details. And when you look at the photos um, there so of we, Banff we, we and some of the we, great we, lakes. We start off with a two-night hotel. In, uh, yeah, yeah, and, Banff, and you we? get this, this included. So you get your land stay before the actual cruise itself. And if you love the great outdoors and you love wildlife, then I'm telling you now, yeah. you've got to do this because you are immersed in the great outdoors. And you, you're actually uh, getting silver leaf, which we'll take you through a little bit later when you, get, when you board onto the, uh, the Rocky Mountaineer. I would actually recommend going for the gold leaf. And I know you're probably saying, well, that's your job to do that. No, but if you're going to go and see that, you want to see it in the best way, you know? It's like going to a theatre and taking the cheap seat and then realising that it's behind a pillar when you could actually <laughs> be down in the stalls yeah. looking up at the uh, up at the band. But uh, there you go. Um, anyway, I think we should get on the Rocky Mountain here, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. This is day three. Uh, Travelling from Banff to Kamloops, isn't it? Yeah, it is one of the greatest railway journeys in the world. And when you think of it, in fact, you know, a lot of people sort of laugh and they go, oh, train spotters, you know, they go, no, have you seen the amount of, of uh, shows now? Like Ma Michael Portillo going on, on to yeah. great railway yeah, journeys. Yeah, of course, yeah. And yeah. I've always, I always wanted to do the Orient Express, always wanted to do it. But this, this is the difference that you're getting there, that panoramic view, that personal surface, and that just that wonderful experience. Now, there's the, the actual team that are on board, not only are they serving you uh, food and drinks, but they'll also be giving you a guided, when I say a guided tour, you know, something, if they, if they know that a particular part of that railway line is good for bears or for eagles or for whatever wildlife it may be, um, but this is the, the difference that Gold Leaf does give you. You've got that fantastic uh, panoramic view and just, just such a great time, a real great time. Your own dedicated dining car. I was going to as well. say there's a separate dining car. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Silverleaf, you'll dine at your seat, but this is, this is going to a separate dining car. Still getting those panoramic views. 
it's definitely worth it. Wow. Well, we're, again, it. It, we're, while you're on the phone, just speak to one of our uh, specialists and they can talk you through that. Yeah. But, um, so we've we've been on the Rocky Mountain here from Banff to Kamloops. Yeah, and then Kamloops we've got, then to we've Vancouver. We've got a hotel stay there, haven't yeah, we? Two, yeah, two night stay in Vancouver. Now, my, my, my sort of experience of this neck of the woods, I've, I've been over to Montreal. It, everybody is so, so friendly. friendly Canadians yeah. are just great. It's this, quite this sophisticated is, Montreal, actually. Isn't oh, it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Now, there's, there's the National Park. There's uh, the Vancouver Lookout. You've got to go on the Sky Ride. Head down to the bay as well. You saw the suspension bridge there as well. That bridge was actually built in 1889. And you just think, I, I always think of that film, what was, it, what was the Sylvester Stallone film where he's on that, that bridge? And it's Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger, yeah. Yeah, I just look at that and I go, oh, I want to do it. It scares me, but I want to do it. I think, you know, if you love those great experiences, then this is going to be brilliant. There's great aquariums, there's a science museum there. Um, it's just absolutely stunning. There's, um, also, there's also some really interesting um, cafes and restaurants here. Just actually 20 minutes from downtown, the peak of Vancouver, there's this brilliant place that's got a shrine to Bob Marley and Jimi Hendrix. I've got to take that off. I've got to take it well, off. Well, you've done all of that before your cruise has even begun, but you're now about to embark the beautiful MS Coningsdom for a seven night cruise with five star Holland American. Here's Chris to show you around. The first in an exciting new class of ship, Holland America Lines, MS Koningsdam, arrived in style in spring 2016, ushering in a host of impressive new dining, entertainment and leisure features for guests to enjoy. Designed by hotel guru Adam Tihani around the theme of music, the interiors have been created to be visually interactive. Dining on board Koningsdam is truly fantastic, with a multitude of delicious venues to whet your appetite. You can enjoy continental snacks and Heineken on tap in the Grand Dutch Cafe, which celebrates the cruise line's heritage with Delft-inspired design and an all-Dutch team. If you're looking for something special, why not try the French bistro-style seafood specialities of Stel de Mer, where the chefs will often go ashore and bring back fresh fish served as the speciality of the day. Or if you prefer your turf over your surf, then head to the Pinnacle Grill, where you can find all of your steakhouse favorites with silver service. If you like some spice, then pop into Tamarind where you'll find exotic menus from Southeast Asia, China and Japan, all served alongside a stunning view from the panorama deck. If music is your thing, then the Koningsdam is the place to be. Take a stroll down the music walk for a truly unforgettable entertainment experience from any of the three stages providing live music nightly. In partnership with the famous performing arts center of the same name, the Lincoln Center stage is a must for you classical music buffs. With multiple programs of chamber music every evening and afternoon recitals during the leisurely days at sea, you can thoroughly immerse yourself in the best of classical music. If you're looking for something with a little more funk and soul, then head over to the Queen's Lounge, where B.B. King's all-star band brings Memphis to the seas. The music doesn't end there, though. If you still haven't had your fill, then there's always Billboard on board. You'll experience incredible live musicians rocking the house with 50 years of chart-topping hits that everyone will know and love. Holland America Line have broken with tradition and created a completely new theatre experience. The World Stage is a new flexible entertainment space that can change to suit the needs of the performance. Coupled with the wraparound two-storey high, 250-foot-long LED screens and the five brand new productions, you're truly in for a spectacular entertainment experience. The staterooms on board MS Koningsdam are havens of light, space and elegance. All the staterooms feature the latest modern touches such as flat screen TVs with movies on demand, luxurious mariner's dream beds, frameless shower glass doors and modern wooden fitted furniture. You'll literally have everything you need at your fingertips. We should say as well, uh, if you go for the outside on board uh, tonight, you will get an exclusive free beverage package as well on the ocean view and above. Beverage. Yes. Very uh, nice. But I'm just going to interject here because just while we were watching that with, with Chris, uh, our Sean was saying here, he said, we've done a lot on this cruise already, haven't we? Yeah, we have. No, you haven't started the cruise I know, yet. I know, I know. It's just you've got that land trip, that holiday, that Rocky Mountaineer experience, and now you're going to head off to sea. Well, um, yes, you are on board this beautiful ship, um, and we're cruising the Inside Passage to start with, aren't we? Yeah, and the view from the Inside Passage is just breathtaking. Um, it just is that if you've never been up there, it really is. It's just get out there with your cameras, out on deck, and just enjoy it. Beautiful, that, isn't it? Stunning. Uh, where's, where, where's next, then? 
We're off to Juno. Now, this, 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 there's a lot of man-made attractions here, uh, and you've got the headquarters of the Alaska Brewing Company, so you've got to try some of that. Uh, there's actually tours of the facility, and there's some of the craft beers as well that are available to, uh, to bring home. But also, there's some stunning glaciers. Glaciers or glaciers? Glaciers. Glaciers. Glaciers are the mints, aren't they? Other brands are available. Um, but no, there's the Mendenhall Glacier. Um, glacier, glacier, sorry, glacier. Uh, there's also some great opportunities to see wildlife. You saw the whales there, um, uh, just absolutely stunning. Uh, then we're off to, St uh, off to Skagway. Now, this is actually been, this was established back in the uh, the gold rush that occurred uh, in Alaska at the back of the end of um, 19th century. And you've got a museum here dedicated to that and the archives as well. So uh, there's a few railway journeys as well. I know you've been on the Rocky Mountain here, but if you want to extend it, they can do. Then we're off to Glacier Bay. I got it right this time. Um, Glacier Bay. Um, there's lots of different ways to explore this area. Um, kayaking, uh, there's the Beardsley Islands as well, uh, there's boat trips um, and there's also the chance to see the amazing John Hopkins Glacier as well. It is, it, it's, it's just beautiful. Then we're off to Catch Can. Catch Can? Catch Can. <laughs> you can. Um, there's, there's some, I love, you know when you sort of like get name places, you go, oh, but that's just awesome. Deer Mountain. Deer Mountain. It sounds just, just so romantic. Um, there's the Misty Fjords as well. Um, now, this particular uh, area, this was actually where you had the indigenous Pacific Northwest Indian tribes. So there's some fantastic cultural stuff to do here as well. There's the Totem Bight State, uh, State Park. There's the Saxman Native Center as well, and the Toted Heritage Center. Um, bald Eagles can be seen. You've got Salmon Creek here, um, and you've got the Prince of Wales Islands. Uh, brown and black bears as well are well known in this, this particular area. Um, and if that wasn't enough, uh, we said about whales earlier on, but the humpback and orca whales are actually found in the waters off the coast. So the seafood is pretty good. Um, then we're going to head back down to Vancouver, back down the Inside Passage, um, and then disembark in Vancouver. What, what a trip UK. that is. Um, so let's just recap. There's an awful lot included. It's all, everything's planned and done for you. So you're going to get a free beverage package on Ocean View and above. That's quite rare to get on this itinerary with Holland America. Actually, I haven't seen that before, but you will get that with your Ocean View. Uh, the Rocky Mountain Air, that classic journey with silver leaf. If you can upgrade to gold leaf, as Justin says, really highly recommend that. Hotel stays, you get those in Banff, Kamloops, Vancouver, and return flights based on London. And that is amazing. You wait nearly two weeks. And the price starts at just two seven nine nine. A uh, variety of dates there, starting in April, all the way through May, June, July, August, and September as well. Uh, but we need to. Uh, I did love that, love that. But we're going to move on to um, Cunard next. Uh, again, five star cruising, some of the finest in the world. But this cruise works out. I'm just, you know, I think I need glasses. Does it honestly, yeah, under £82 per person per night, which is incredible. And quite a rare itinerary. You're going to really get to see the very best here. Uh, we're looking at a chance to see the Northern Lights, the fjords from Southampton. But here's our Keith to show you a bit more. She's the third Cunard ship to bear her name and bigger and more beautiful than any of her predecessors. The Queen Elizabeth was launched by Her Majesty the Queen in 2010 and continues to win thousands of fans for our understated elegance, spacious luxury, and excellent service. Serving over 20,000 meals each day, Queen Elizabeth's talented culinary team of over 100 chefs cater to all tastes and dietary requirements. Fresh and exquisitely seasoned dishes are served in all of the six dining locations. So whether it's a meal with friends in the Britannia or a freshly baked pizza in the Lido, your taste buds are going to enjoy the holiday as much as you do. Kickstart your day with some relaxing yoga in the gym, followed by a visit to the Royal Spa for a quick dip and a spot of pamper. There's literally hundreds of treatments to choose from. After a spot of afternoon tea, maybe you'll take a stroll around the Royal Arcade full of stylish souvenirs and big design names at low prices. Or you could pop up on deck for a game of croquet in the sunshine. There's seven different bars to choose from, all featuring live music. So whatever your mood or tipple, you're going to find the perfect home away from home. Cocktail fans will flock to the panoramic views of the Commodore Club. And for those who want to dance the night away, there's even the wonderful disco. 
But for me, it's all about quenching your thirst for a freshly pulled pint here in the legendary Golden Lion pub. It may be night time that most sets the Queen Elizabeth experience apart from other ships. You can enjoy a magical night in the Broadcourt Theatre for comedians, stars of the West End, and fabulous shows can be viewed from the privacy of your own theatre box. Then why not turn back the time and attend a dazzling themed ball in the Queen's room with a live band, gentlemen dance hosts and stunning performances from the ball instructors. Whether you want a sumptuous suite or a room with a view, this ship offers it all. There are seven grades of accommodation to choose from and all of it is spacious, bright and stylish, including these brand new single state rooms with massive windows and even bigger TVs. But whatever you choose, every state room is full of little touches designed to make you feel instantly at home. The personal stream will keep everything clean and tidy. The CD Cunard and mattress will keep you sleeping like a baby. <laughs> and the free 24 hour room service will keep you wishing you had more willpower. Just, just wanted to apologise. I know it's, it's slightly before nine o'clock in the watershed, so in the. <clears throat> well, really, really got a bit of leg there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you want to hear the producer? You know what she called him? Beefy Keefy? No, that's his nickname. That's his nickname, Beefy, Beefy Keefy. Keefy. I know. There you go. You won't, um, be get, you won't be getting me one of those robes. I mean, they're very comfortable. Do you have a nickname, Glenn? Uh, uh, Glenn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Come back. Come back. He's not been on the show for ages. We've had Glenn the past two months. Does Glenn have a nickname? Yeah, Glenn. Right. Are anyway, we we're already we over. We're are already. We, he's, he's, are we he's just chat, 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 chat. Oh, old dear. Sorry, Justin. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's move With on. With me. Yeah. Of course I will. Of course I will, Howard. Um, <laughs> so, Paul, Paul never makes the mistakes, but uh, there we go. Anyway, we're off. We're off to the Northern Lights. <laughs> can you, can you still see the lights? Yeah. Can just. You? Jeremy. Yes. Anyway, um, Southampton. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Two days at sea, and then we're going to Allersund. Um, all is it? All is done, actually. Um, this is the Norway city port with beautiful buildings. In fact, this is actually quite a modern port because um, in 1904 there was a massive fire that destroyed the whole of this particular area. So all of it is actually modern culture, modern architecture. So it's actually uh, quite quite interesting. Um, the actual um, local delicacy is dried cod. Oh. called Kipflisk. So, uh, nice and interesting. Nice day at sea, and then we're into Tromso, where we have an overnight on board. Now, there's an Arctic cathedral, um, which uh, is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, uh, there's also a restaurant up there um, at the top of the cable car. You can go and see the walls as well. In fact, there's a hus well, not walls, Huskies, Husky Wilderness Camp. There's 250 Alaskan Huskies um, over in Tromso, and um, they, they just they didn't like it in Alaska. Um, but you can actually sit there and you can howl with the wolves. Oh. So you can go to this place oh. and there is, there is tours available that hopefully if you get a chance to see the Northern Lights, they go, oh, and then hopefully you hear back. Oh. That's very good. See? Not very good. I am leader of the pack at home, you see. Anyway, um, then we're off to Narvik. Now, this is another overnight on board. This is a port that I've never been to before and you, you even asked me yeah like, I said, went, where is Narvik I said I've never seen it on the show before Narvik so, I know it sounds I know it sounds like something from hot fuzz doesn't it <laughs> anyway um, this is the most northernmost wildlife park here there's 114 acres of natural habitat where you see the following Arctic animals such as wolves Ow! brown bears um, lynx oh <laughs> 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 Bow chicka wow wow. Yeah, see, I knew, I knew. Um, Wolverine, I'm Hugh Jackman. Um, uh, moose. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, just want to say that none of those uh, celebrities or sounds are associated with this particular port. Anyway, there's also a railway uh, called the Offerton Railway, which is uh, 42 kilometres. It's actually known as, once described as the eighth wonder of the world, and was the most northernmost, coldest, harshest railway construction project the world had ever seen. I think that was probably the guy that was actually putting the rivets into the, the thing. Um, uh, and then we've also got uh, a final uh, stop at Stavanger, haven't we? Yeah, after a day at sea, and the Stavanger is the cradle of the Vikings. This is what it's known as. Uh, there's a lovely uh, church here, actually. Um, so, uh, and there's also the Pulpit Rock as well, which is one of the most stunning scenic viewpoints. Uh, it's about 2,000 feet above sea level. So, um, yeah. 
Just get get your photo and, there and, and, and then head back. And then a final debt seat and then back to Southampton. Now loads, uh, just to remind you, in terms of what's included, you are going to get a chance to the Northern Lights. The balcony has just been reduced, by the way, to 1475. Mm. You get the over and out on board in uh, Tromso and Narvik there as well. Just say it right, Narvik. Narvik. Um, and uh, if you upgrade to the QNAD fare from £89, you will receive onboard spend, coach transfers of port parking as well. And don't forget, any cruises, generally speaking, from Southampton, you can add on a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester from only £95 per person. That would give you breakfast parking and port transfers as well. Uh, but some great prices there. And i uh, got to say, the outside is only £100 more compared to the inside. Now, we've got one final cruise tonight. And it's a, a lovely cruise with Fred Olsen on board the Black Watch. We've actually got an exclusive offer today where you choose from either a free upgrade from inside to outside uh, or port parking or onboard spend as well. But let's take you on board the Black Watch with Fred Olsen. Um, really nice ship. Again, uh, not a huge ship. No, she's no, she's, size, she's small. She? So maximum capacity is 700 and, uh, sorry, 843. Average capacity is 762. 28,000 tons. Oh. Um, she's been refurbished in November 2016. She's got the Black Watch Room, uh, a speciality restaurant now as well. Complimentary room service available for food uh, as well. So uh, interesting on that. And drinks as, as well. And the nau nautically themed Lido Lounge, the Scottish Pipers Bar, Braemar Lounge, and the Observatory as well. Oh. So. Um, now, I've, I've known that uh, we've got friends that actually worked on, on Fred Olsen lines and they said it was absolutely brilliant. And, uh, and again, the guests make it as well. So. Well, I, um, I cruised with my mum with Fred Olsen for years ago. We had a lovely time, actually. But uh, really nice this one. We're cruising out of Southampton. Yep. Uh, and we're going to spend a night in Amsterdam to start with because we're, we're there overnight, aren't we, on board? Yes. I've never been to Amsterdam, believe it or not. No. no, seriously. I know. No. I had one of the best nights out of my cruise career in six years um, you've got Anne Frank's Museum Van Gogh's Rembrandt's house as well the flower market the Royal Palace um, you've got all the windmills you've got the shops as well uh, you've got the great cafe culture as well the canals um, and in the evening just go out you've got to go yeah. and see it and the thing is everybody goes oh no we're not going to go out in Amsterdam you see them creeping down that gangway and you know exactly what they're up to window shopping anyway we're off to Rotterdam um, you've got the Hagen Royal Delft here, which is definitely worth going and see. You've got the Koikenhof Tulip Festival as well, if you get a chance to go and see the fantastic tulips there. That's another one. Then we're off to Ghent. Now, this is actually a student town. I'm looking forward to going here. I'm actually going here in a few weeks' time. Uh, apparently, it's beautiful. You've got the Bavos Cathedral. They've got the Gravenstein uh, Castle as well. Um, the Mystic Lamp, which is a very famous piece of artwork, one thought to be one of the earliest oil paintings, which dates back to the 15th century. That's all here. Uh, and the City Hall is also good. Then we're off to Antwerp. If you like diamonds and chocolate, then this is the place for you. Um, if not, you can head to the market. Um, there's also a, a, a fantastic cobblestone centre square as well with a fountain. And there's also a story about a giant here. Uh, and apparently, he used to cut off the hands of any sailors who refused to pay him the toll. But a Roman soldier named um, Bravo eventually managed to kill the uh, giant and threw him in the river. So, um, there you go. <laughs> and then, a happy, cheery story. <laughs> No, but the city's name sounds like the words for hand throwing in yeah. Dutch. So um, yeah, you know when you go to these lovely places, you go, "Oh, did you did you like Antwerp?" And then you realise what <laughs> hand throwing. <laughs> like, yeah, I chopped a giant's hand, threw it in the river. There you go. Anyway, then we're back to Southampton, so you'd have to fly on this one. Uh, just watch out for the giants of the Roman soldiers. Now, uh, as I mentioned, we've got an exclusive offer tonight. You can choose from either free inside to ocean view cabin upgrade or you can go for port parking or onboard spend as well we've also got a free upgrade from balcony to suite so the suite price is really good on this one actually uh it works out if you go for the lead date there under 98 pounds per person per night got the two over nights on board as well and as uh, we mentioned earlier you can also add on a night at the holiday in winchester from only £95 per person that will give you breakfast parking and port transfers as well price wise um so we have got an upgrade right the way to the suite tonight from the balcony there as well. And the date there, the 17th of March. But yeah, I really liked uh, my cruise with Fred Olsen. I love the time. Uh, everything's on the website. Uh, don't forget. So um, all, 
all the deals uh, and many, many more. But what I'd love to do, I don't know where the time's gone, is just to recap all the cruises that we've had on tonight's show. And we began with this week's hot pick. And it was, of course, with Morella. Um, I'm sure we've been exceptionally busy for this one. So it's an 11-night all-inclusive Caribbean escape from Malaga to Barbados. All-inclusive, adult only. We're going to give you a free inside to outside cabin upgrade. So that price tag is for an outside for 11 nights. Return flights based on London Gatwick. But as we mentioned, you could get regional flights for just a supplement. Just call for details. And that's going to get your way to the Caribbean in miserable November in the UK. But November is pretty bad, isn't it? Yes. But now we've got our all-inclusive sting cruise. Sorry, I, when I said Sting, I mean, that, that was the thing that we played before, not Sting as in the, the bass guitarist from the police. That's going to be, oh dear, I've got myself into a pickle here now. Anyway, this is with Paul Mantor. This is heading over to Dubai, and you're going to get uh, some fantastic sights in there. Single is 1199, so apologies for that on the screen. So it's even better priced than it is before. Uh, and on particularly that one, yeah, get in early because you don't want to miss out on that one. Cruise uh, number is 184368. Then we moved on to Celestial. Uh, no sting. Uh, on no. board the Celestial Crystal. Um, three continents are going to visit in this one. How amazing is that? So it's all inclusive again. You've got tips, uh, you've got excursions in Cairo, Rhodes, Kusadasi there. And um, if you wanted to spend a little bit of extra time in Athens, you can have two nights there in a wonderful hotel from £99. Per person that I just, I just want to check. I just want to ask on this one. Yeah, three consonants. How many vowels? Anyway, right. Shall we take a look at our early bird deal. <laughs> it's still doing the moves. It's still doing the moves. Um, this one was the Holland America line. It's a bucket list cruise because you've got a land stay in Canada before actually joining the Rocky Mountaineer. Up the inside passage, down to uh, some fantastic ports. It's just a great opportunity. You can upgrade to gold leaf from 499 per person. You do get, get silver leaf service included as standard. We then had um, five star queue out on board the Queen Elizabeth. Oh, this was amazing as well. Um, 12 nights. You're going to uh, get a chance to the Northern Lights there. The price on the balcony has just been reduced as well to 1475 and you've got those great overnights as well. And um, that lead date there, the 8th of October, starts at 979. Then we had Fred Olsen, didn't we? Yes, we went to Fred Olsen and uh, again heading over to Amsterdam with an overnight. Rotterdam, Ghent, some great ports there. And look at that. Uh, you can either choose from a free inside to Ocean View cabin upgrade or port parking or on board spend. Oh, and don't forget we had Luxury Corner with Azamara. Um, this would be incredible. 17th of December, 20 nights, taking away for Christmas, New Year, and uh, a wonderful trip around the Panama Canal there from Miami to Los Angeles. So, Justin. Howard. I mean, <laughs> Paul. I mean, oh, who are you? <laughs> what are you like tonight? I go away for a few weeks and you forget me. I'll um, see you in two weeks' time. You better do. Justin. Justin, we'll never forget you, believe me. Uh, listen, great to see you, seriously. Great to see you. <laughs> we will see you in two weeks' time. Um, I will see you next week with, of course, Planet Cruise. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right-hand side. It'll be really informative or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.